All right, y'all. So we're going to be listening to what Sonny Edwards and Asha Beeb has to say about weight classes in ESBC, man. Uh, you know, it's a very interesting topic. Let's hear what they say, man. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Yeah! And then that will essentially expand as the as the game progresses post early access, you know. Um, so so we, it won't launch with, you know, the supers uh, or the juniors, depending on how you look at things. Um, They'll, they'll have the, the, the blended weight classes, essentially. So, you know, your bantamweights, um, middle. Weight. Basically, what he means by blended weight classes, instead of having, you know, light welterweight and junior welterweight and all these things, this is going to be like in like in, the, like in MMA, you're just going to have flyweight, bantamweight, middleweight, welterweight, light heavyweight, heavyweight. It's just not, it's not going to be, you know, cruiserweight and, and this and that. No, it's, it's going to be combined into one just for the early access. And that's about roughly eight weight classes. So hey, that's pretty interesting. Um, I know in the full game, Ash talked about earlier that they are gonna do separate weight classes, like for each individual. So that that's pretty cool. But for now, they're just gonna do lightweight, welterweight, you know, and so forth. So that you know that that, that, that that's cool. Um, so so that's essentially what we're going to be doing with the weight classes. Uh, and as our roster gets added, more and more fighters added into the game, then you know we'll start bringing in. You know, super welterweight, you know, super middleweight. Um, because you know, right now it just, it'll just feel weird, right? Where you'll have, you know, maybe seven or eight welterweights, and then you know, you'll have one super welter. So, so yeah. we're, we're, we're merging, and that's a very good point because in Fight Night Champion, they have the uh, Denari and I believe super featherweight or featherweight, and it's just him, he's just the only one in that weight class. And it's just like, why didn't you just like combine him in another weight class and just instead of having him in his own weight class? That was that was pretty stupid. So that's a very good point that Ash made. Instead of just having, you know, it, it's pretty pointless to having a weight class, for example, like super lightweight. You got three fighters in super lightweight, but then in welterweight, you got 10. Why not just add the the fighters from super lightweight into welterweight and just combine them and just make them you know just make them whole that's how you pretty much you know downscale the roster and people having to click through each weight class and things like that so i can see i don't, I don't mean to keep bringing up fight night champion but i can see that they're capitalizing off a lot of mistakes that fight night champion made so yeah you know that it's pretty it's pretty interesting it's pretty interesting i, I like what ash should be saying so far Judging those 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 divisions together um you know during our initial release and, and sonny how have you noticed like for instance playing with someone your weight class versus playing as a character like tyson fury did the punches look better and the footwork look better on the smaller fighters compared to the large ones or vice versa yeah i think it before Sonny goes, that was a terrific question by Ty Grisham. Because I know a lot of people, you know, you can feel the difference between when you're punching with a heavyweight and then when you're punching with a featherweight or with a bantamweight. You know what I mean? It, it, it's a complete difference. And this is coming from a world champion boxer right here. So he's going to, you know, explain what the difference feels like and things like that compared to real life. So I'm interested in what Sonny has to say. I'm really interested. In, and it is nice to see that have an actual boxer who's interested and invested in SCI and ESBC, giving them pointers, telling them what they're doing right, telling them what they're doing wrong, and things like that. You know, so that's uh, you know that's pretty cool to see. I know Poe said Sonny Edwards <laughs> looks like you know <laughs> looks like uh, Ash Abu just told him to sit there and be quiet. That's pretty hilarious. But let's get right back into the video. Oh, quite well, we even had like a little play about with the flyweight and the heavyweight and whatnot. Um, and you can see the difference. You can see the speed. You can see the the slight nuances, even the punches might come out a bit quicker, and you can you can definitely feel the difference. Um, like visually, you can see the difference. So um, it will just be how I, I guess the the game scales the size because obviously heavyweight fights tend to look different to a flyweight fight, tend to end different to a flyweight fight. So yeah, I think the whole big range will probably you know it will it'll be interesting. You'll probably see uh fans of the game finding a particular weight class that they'll choose to dominate and it probably won't just be because of the actual fighters in there it might also be how their play style how they tend to like to play if they want the faster longer fights or if they want the chance to go in there and bomb someone out over a couple of rounds probably more likely as a heavyweight landing the right shots and more power behind them and probably less likely and more likely to get a 12 round you know, back and forward, people get put down, people get up in a flyweight fight. So I think 
that will help find people and how they want to play the game as well because the weight classes will see a difference as you as they scale up and 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 I think uh, pretty much Sonny Edwards is going to sum up pretty much what I was going to say. Basically, these weight classes are pretty much going to predict what, uh, how, how you're going to, how your style is. You know, some people, they tend to struggle with the heavier weight classes in heavyweight and cruiserweight, and light heavyweight and things of that nature. But they shine in lighter weight classes and vice versa. People who struggle in the lighter weight classes, they excel in the higher weight classes. So it's definitely going to play into your play style. Um, you're going with a much slower fighter or you're going to go at a much slower pace or a faster pace because you have much more power but much less defense. So things like that tend to play into weight classes, how people's play style are going to play. That was a pretty great point for, from Sonny. Um, again, I really like how he's just like super involved in this as a fighter. You really don't see this too much with, with video games how how fighters are just like so invested into a game into the game that they're in you know so hey, this is you know it's pretty cool to see him sitting alongside the owner of esbc it's pretty freaking crazy right but um anyways man that's pretty much going to be the end of this video man so if y'all have not already um like comment subscribe share if you're new join the film join the gang i'll see y'all next time let me know down below in the comments what y'all think man just let me know down below in the comments what do y'all think but uh peace love and prosperity love every single one of y'all man do something productive with your day be the me it's not productive. I'll see y'all next time, man. Y'all stay up, stay blessed. It's been your boy, Jamie, man. And uh, I don't know what else to say, man. But I'm out. Peace.